The use of this passage is so annoying by some people. It's not the passage that's the problem. It's how they use the passage. And it's not really a passage that they quote, but it's an understanding of the passage. And this is when the when the Bible speaks of Balaam being spoken to by his donkey, how God used the donkey. This comes up when a false teacher, false prophet, a heretic, a wolf is called out. Inevitably, someone who does not value the scriptures, who wants to defend them or wants to defend someone else will say, God can use whomever they want to use. God can use a donkey. Why can't God use this person? Have you heard that before when they'll say, who are you to say who God can use? Or you can't put God in a box. That is just so annoying sometimes to say that again, God can use a donkey. He can use this person. Well, here's the question. Was the donkey saved? Did the donkey go to heaven? Did God anoint this donkey and give this donkey eternal life? No. Stop using this thing out of context. Now, this story takes place in Numbers 22, and this is after Balaam had struck the donkey and the donkey stops, and then they're having a the conversation, which, by the way, is an interesting conversation for a man having with a donkey. But notice what point the people who claim that God can use anything he wants to. And guess what? God can't. You know why? You know why God can use anything that he wants? Because everything is his. But notice this point of this particular passage that they don't ever bring up. In verse 33, it says, but the donkey saw me and turned aside from me these three times. This is the angel of the Lord speaking to him. Notice what the donkey did that false prophets, false teachers don't do, nor the people that defend them. The donkey saw the Lord and stopped. So if you're going to use a donkey, use a donkey in proper context. The donkey sees the Lord and stops. But these false teachers, these false prophets, they will not do so. But if you call them out, then you're the problem. Because again, you are trying to stop or you're trying to dictate what God is going to do. You're not putting God in the box. No, it's not what we're doing. It's not saying that we're, we're going to put God in the box. God has determined how he's going to use himself. God has determined what he's going to do and how he's going to do it. Remember, God can and will use everything because, again, everything belongs to him. He will use you to get glory either through you or in spite of you. The man born blind, God used him to get glory through him. But there's others who God used to get glory in spite of them. Think about Judas. Would you like to be Judas? Would you like to be his example? Or what about Pharaoh? The Bible says in Romans 9, 17, that for this very purpose, I raise you up, speaking of Pharaoh, to demonstrate my power in you and that my name, my name might be proclaimed throughout all the earth. Is that what you want God to use you for, to be used like he used Pharaoh? When a person brings up or says something that goes against the scriptures, our job, according to Peter, is to reprove that person, prove that that's wrong, and rebuke the people who are continuing to follow that person. According to 2 Timothy 4, why? Because as he says, the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. They'll keep following these people and say that what they're doing is spiritual or of the Lord. But when you compare it to the scriptures and you see it's not, inevitably, again, someone's going to come and say, who are you to say? Who are you to judge? God can use whomever. Again, God is not going to use something that goes against his word. He's not going to use that person for glory. He'll use that person to show his wrath. He'll use that person to show his discipline. And again, if you're going to say that God can use the donkey, at least the donkey opened his eyes and saw. What about some of these false teachers? And more to the point, what about some of you supporting some of these false teachers? Will God open your eyes like he did the donkeys?